Hey, what's up, everybody? Xavier Zudio, coming to you from His Dominion. I'd like to especially thank uh, my friends and family who encouraged me to honestly go out and do review. And with a review in mind, guys, you got to keep in mind that a view, a review is a really, really in depth, or, or well, I would like to think, um, a really in depth um, idea of of everything on the game like you just want to go into al analytics and just crazy stuff like that <laughs> and uh, really guys um, I have really 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 great plans for this YouTube channel as far as it's uh, concerning um, that's concerning uh, gaming videos um, inspirational view videos excuse me so on and so forth so um, definitely guys you intense inspiration and just gaming gaming forever like my avatar games definitely uh, believe that this YouTube channel could be something that could positively influence your life in the best type of way So with that being said guys, I also want to add that I'm lacking a capture card and you know a computer some good software to actually really cast um, Some really good gameplay and some footage for you guys So I really want to emphasize that at the beginning of this film. So um with that in mind guys, I really appreciate uh, your patience with my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. There is many, many great reviews coming your way, trust me. Uh, like I said, with the resources that I have, I will try to get it into depth on everything and touch up on everything that I can. Um, I'm on holdout right now, guys, for doing a review on uh, Battlefront, excuse me, and Black Ops 3. I also want to do a review on FIFA 16. So there's a lot of great games um, for the month of November that I'll be doing a review on. So I really appreciate your guys' views, your, your input on what I need to do to be a better, um, I guess, a, a critique. I guess to critique better guys. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys. I think I do a good job. But I mean, can I do... Uh, you can't really do anything without some input. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Let's really get into depth on Fallout 4 and why it delivers. <coughs> and, you know, as a Telltale f fan of Fallout, guys, I just really want to express that this game really, really has always induced, like, an extreme sense of nostalgia for me. I have no idea why, guys. I mean... Um, tone wise it'd be a lot different I really want to uh, hear from you guys on how it feels for you guys but uh, we've been putting me and a buddy of mine have been getting our ideas together and really brainstorming on like a tone for this game and this tone um, has like a Jetsons feel like a dark Jetsons cartoon like a, a dark Jetsons cartoon 50 to 60s cartoon with the twist of the Olongs in there and an M. Night Shyamalan film. It's, I know it's kind of like out there, guys, but it, it's really cool. It's a really cool idea um, for you that don't get it. I mean, that's fine. Um, when I mean tone for the game, for younger viewers, older viewers, anybody who's not able to really assess what the hell I'm saying, it's just a vision that's really remarkable for the game. And if you can't get an idea of the tone or the direction or what really Bethesda's done for this game, um, damn, it's kind of like a, a slap in the face <laughs> to, for, to all the fanboys like me, man. So with that little rant, um, things that I would like to see more from in Fallout, more enemies, I, I definitely believe the only thing that really uh, dismayed me, the only thing that kind of got my like eh, my meh meter going up there is the lack of an enemies. I wish this game had a lot more depth in enemies, and, that, and that's not to take from the amazing game that it is, guys. Because I'm a I'm a I'm a freaking bashing you guys' head. This is an amazing game. I'll probably be on this for psh, next couple of weeks, honestly, till I really started getting into depth with um, owning some noobs on. Battlefront and BO3 So it'll be fun in the long run guys Be really really fun um, 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 I I really 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 believe um, Fallout in the long term has 
Oh, definitely is the ha, yeah. It does has have the potential to be the flagship, I guess you could say, for RPGs everywhere. Cause this is this is the vision, I, I guess you guys could say. I've been wanting to get to since the beginning of the video. Any memorable RPG, any memorable RPG, you guys can go back on and really dig deep and really critique and assess, guys. Really, really let the you cater or the game caters to your playing style. And Fallout definitely is gonna win game of the year because it does nothing but that, nothing but that. But cater to your experience in the gameplay, as it does any RPG, but um, more so ever Fallout. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. So many, so many uh, customizables. I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Too many. There's way too many guys. Way too many. There's just so much to talk upon on the game. But uh, you know, I could say I did my best for honestly for you guys. You guys are watching me take down some ghouls. Let's go on to this, some gameplay now that we've got that aside, guys. Let's go on to some gameplay. Feels really good. Really, really creepy tone wherever you go. You guys gotta respect your enemy. I play on survival, guys. So, yeah, if you don't go in, if you don't go into any fight, any fight, you gotta respect even the tiniest enemy in Fallout, which is pretty freaking awesome. You got, you gotta respect the tiniest enemy on Fallout for everything that it does, because it hurts. Anything packs a punch in this game, and it's just beyond critical thinking when it comes to this. There's so many things, like I said, that cater to your playing style and really make Fallout for Game of the Year. But hey guys, I really appreciate you guys. Much love to you guys. That's it.